Hello, my beautiful allies. It's no secret that I cater to you. Those that are brand new, let me introduce myself. My name is Grace. On a journey. And you are listening to Angelic Healing Express. This is a safe place. And you are all welcomed. I hesitated with saying if this would be brief or lengthy. Reason being, I've totally surrendered to God's will. What he wants to say, what he wants to come out, is what I'm here for. But in my estimation, I am only prepared with a brief statement. Whatever God wants to interject again is welcome. I call on my spiritual. Thank you for all the confirmations, my spiritual support team. Your interjections are welcome. And thank you for the inspiration. I want to title today's segment Double Check. Double Check for a woman or a man of a certain age is what our teachers would say to do once you raise your hand and you explain that I'm done with the assignment can I work on something else and the reason why is because not being on task came with consequences as it does as an adult your trained sense a child to be on task so the teacher would say double check if you finish your assignment double check and it would usually be in reference to mathematics If you added numbers, if you subtracted numbers, if you multiplied numbers, if you divided numbers, you would reverse it. Set up, set it up differently and reverse it. And if it all added up in perfect alignment, then you knew your work was 100%. Then yes, of course. You may engage in another type of activity. I usually never listen to the entire episode once it's recorded. One being, I was there. (laughs) Two being, I need to rest. But I do always meditate. So I meditated and I asked questions. Now, I was told to observe. That was the word given to me. 
observe. So, I realized that during the intro, I'm pausing for a minute because I'm receiving a channeling. of an individual that is in the energy of gloating bragging about her signature Confirmation, bragging about her signature. I did that. That was me. I caused that interruption. One of the reasons why I like to be quite frank with you is because that is how you could make use of the information that confirmation that is how you could make use of the information that you're receiving and if you notice lately I've been saying allies but I needed to bring some tenderness to it so I said beautiful allies as you are If you fit that description, either you're a leader or you're in the making. Now, there are a lot of confirmations that will come. And so, you note them as they come. So I can concentrate on the messages I'm receiving. So, the only reason someone would brag about disruptions and efforts being made to disalign a channel is because you have a list to hide. One being is because you know it's the truth. <laughs> Two being is because you know there is power. Three B is that you would know that if you could contend with that power, that is what would give you validation because otherwise you would be a non-factor correct well the reason why I am certain that this channel has leaders and those incoming
is because it was prophesied to me. We tend to connect to channels that are relatable. The ones that don't connect and that are looking for a high five. Look at what I did. Are just what we consider the extras. Right? Non-significant factors. As I've always stated, balance is the fruit of the universe. In the same way, they feel they're gaining points in bringing disruption. You know. You've got the points. I'm here. A hundred percent real love. You've got that a hundred percent real love. That's why they come back and back again. And it won't stop. Because you're the source. And you're touching the masses. And part of my mission is to raise the vibration. So although each one teaches one, each one touches one, and collectively, we expand our territory. So, we mentioned earlier the word observe that was brought to us in our meditation. I will for one tell you that there are times when you receive messages especially during meditation well you need some type of clarification in all ways take that opportunity to ask for that clarification when that comes about said observe what and it's as if the episode was being reviewed in my head the entire episode internally and I recalled the brief interruptions that occurred came about when we were reclaiming our birthrights and then the message was bingo you see from now on pay attention to when efforts are being made to interrupt your flow. Listen carefully. Listen, because I don't want this to go above you. Listen. Pay attention when efforts are being made to interrupt your flow.
Yes, you are being invited to read between the lines. The reason why it was so important to interrupt us as we reclaim what is ours our birthright our soul's purpose our connections our networks our abundance our creativity our talents our gifts our families family our soul contracts our destinies all known our leg and unknown our legacies all known and unknown past present future all known and unknown the reason why there was interruptions being made During these frequencies, yes, I said frequencies, continue to observe and read between the lines, is because there is power in the word. In this season, The more you are willing to stand in your truth, and activate it with your communication, the more you will realize inclination. Remember, you have to be open to stand in your truth, no matter how sweet it is or how sour it is, no matter how popular it is. or how misunderstood it is, you must be willing to stand in your truth and marry communication. Because it activates the manifestation. You see, As soon as I said, we believe in the reclamation of that's when spiritually they began to shoot. Pay attention. That's when spiritually they began to shoot. When do you take your weapons out? Can somebody tell me? I just want to know. I want us to know. When do you take your weapons out? When you feel threatened, right? When you feel you're in danger, right? When you recognize that the enemy is making forward movement, right? I want you all to know see a web of love all around you. All of those that are now allies encamped on the team with the most high 
I want you to know wherever you are love is you can't fall you can only bounce let me say that again for someone that needed that message you can't fall you can only bounce we bounce back harder how do we bounce back harder one more time harder that's right so be in the knowledge that God was always in control God is still in control God will always be in control all you need to do is show up that's all those of you that are having issues with suppressed creativity because your production intimidates the bottom feeders I want you to go to God about it stop relying on your work remember this is God's work remember this is God's work I heard of every loud confirmation someone just said oh that's right remember that is God's work he's in charge of that Let's use today's segment for a prime example. I just came with a statement. I just looked at the clock and we was at 22. And blinked and we was at 23 minutes. Let God do it. Release the weight of the world. And just harmonize with it. Call in the frequency of God. And watch Him do it. Over and over and over again. Do all that you can to treat yourself in healthy ways. Because that supplement of self-love will carry you far. Treat yourself. Celebrate your victories. no matter how minute or great they are. And share that energy with your loved ones. Celebrate their victories. Make them feel important to you.
their presence matters. Be grateful for who you have in your circles. No matter how much of an influence they are or not, they are part of the puzzle. I hesitate to say stay focused because I live by stay balanced. There's no way I could stay focused on constant warfare. And this is why we need a spiritual support team. I sign in when I'm supposed to sign in. And I sign off when I'm supposed to sign off. Hey, time to recoup. You in charge. Of protection and defense. You in charge. Of strategy and planning. You in charge. Learn to trust. You're not alone. And you don't have to do this journey alone. Learn to tune out. Watch a movie. Paint something. Create something. When was the last time you created some poetry? What about that book you were writing? How many times have you postponed taking a walk. As we cater to others, we must not forget to include ourselves. And one last bit of encouragement I would like to leave you with is don't forget the children. Don't wait for them to be a certain age to then begin to train them. You know, I believe you need to know these truths because you're from this bloodline and You have a contribution to making this world. Do it as they grow. Allow them to be present as you contribute. Don't enforce it. Let it flow. If you want to play, you play in this room while you hear this prayer. Eventually, they'll learn the terminology of prayer. And before you know it, they'll be able to pray for you. In balance. I'm not trying to tell you. Continue the legacies of bringing them Tuesday nights, Wednesday nights, Friday nights, Saturday mornings, 
Sunday morning service. Evening service. I'm not saying all that now. I'm saying your contribution, what you are called to do, they should already be in training. As minute as it is, they should already be contributing. As minute as it is. Whether it is bringing a tool that you ask them to pick up. Or putting some things away for you when you're done. Or asking some feedback. Because they're the most honest ones. But get on top of that. Because you're meant to stay on top. Peace out.